Hey, what's going on guys? Hex coming back in today with a brand new video. And as always down in the title below will be the top we're talking about today. So High School DxD Season 5 talk, man. That's what we're going to be talking about. High School DxD Season 5. Of course, you guys are probably foaming at the mouth for me to talk about this. I mean, I look around on YouTube and honestly, I see that if you look at my past history, I have like the most amount of views whenever it comes to talk about High School DxD specifically. Accumula accumulation of views, that is, at least. So High School DxD Season 5 is something that's weird it's it's weird in general there's i mean to really make speculation of a release date or estimate a release date is something that i find virtually impossible and i i, I refuse to believe anyone who says they can make a video like that as of right now especially because it there's so many different um variables now passione that's a huge variable that's a whole new studio. So therefore, we cannot go by what TNK did because this is a new studio. It's it's its own studio. We we don't know their history. We don't we have no data to you know see what their tendencies are when it comes to releasing shows, aka High School DxD specifically. But um, so that's a big variable. This is foreign territory. We've never been in this territory before. And another thing that really makes things kind of weird with all this is the simple fact that. DxD has over 20 volumes in a light novel. We literally just finished volume 10. So it's not like we're waiting for DxD to, you know, get finished. Because DxD, if, even if we released maybe an anime per year, once a year, even then, it's very unlikely that the anime catches up to the light novel. Very unlikely, extremely unlikely that the that the anime catches up to the light novel, you know, light novel even then, because I would imagine DxD is done by volume 30. I would only imagine, I think it's on like 23 right around there right now, but I would honestly imagine it's done by that time. I don't know for sure, but like there's not that many light novels that are over 30 volumes. Like that's very impressive, and I take my hat off to the creator, you know, the and or author of High School DxD in general for making it this far, especially with a harem series. That's very impressive. So that's something that's really interesting. That's something that we have to wait and find out. So another huge variable in this, guys, is the simple fact that the art's different. How was that going to be perceived? It's something that grew on me. Yes, do I still prefer the TNK art? Sure, I would have loved to see a lot of moments with the TNK art style. Sure. But at the same time, it's going to be how do people perceive it? Not even necessarily the Western audience, which DxD does have a very popular Western audience, especially for what it is. Um, but at the same time, how does Japan see it? You know, DxD is a show that really averaged around probably a combined total of 8,000 Blu-ray disc and DVD disc combined is what I would imagine, you know, like per, like per volume per se. Like if you took, you know, each volume that gets released for Blu-ray disc, each volume that gets released for the um, DVD, it probably totaled around 8,000, 8, you know. The Blu-ray disc alone, that is something that really totaled around like 7,000. Most of the time I looked, it's really right around 7,000 uh, Blu-ray discs sold per volume. Per volume, not not as a whole, but per volume, because uh, episode of you know twelve episodes of anime usually has about four volumes. Each volume containing three episodes in Japan, and of course in America, usually it's just twelve. Right, one volume is twelve. If it's a two core show, then you'll have two separate Blu-ray disc volumes for anime most of the time. So what I'm saying is each volume usually averages around six point five to seven thousand. So if they can keep that up, if it does not drop off, that's something that. We're gonna have to wait and see. I mean, I could even so if it is a little bit low, let's say it's like six thousand five point five, there is a chance to where Passione could be like, hey, uh, how about we just, you know, this is our first time with it. It's the first time people see the new art style that's closer to the light novel. Let's pump out another season and see how it's, you know, how it's perceived by the audience then. But then at the same time, you do got to put into perspective that it's DXC is in a spot to where. Yes, it, it sells great light novels. So that will that push it alone. And then at the same time, you gotta you gotta think about hey, a new studio took us over. What's the contract? And that's what sucks about you know Japan in a way and the way they handle business. It's so private. Like they'll give us details, but they won't give us reasons as to why. Like they don't then they don't give us in depth details by no means. So I mean. And that's something that we, we don't know. Is there a contract? Hey, is it contracted for three for three seasons? Is it contracted through pa, you know Passione for at least a season five, six, seven? And you got to look at the same time. The author of DxD did say he I believe he wishes he wants DxD to get at least 
four more seasons, I think he said. So that would at least equal eight seasons. I mean, if, you know, if we're doing three volumes at a time, I mean, that would get us to volume, like, what? Like, that'd be, well, four more seasons. I mean, that'd be 12. So I guess we're right around 21, 22, you know, 24, right in that range, depending on how they handle it and how, you know, long each arc gets within, the, in, you know, within those volumes. I don't know. But um, that's something that we also got to, you know, got to put into to perspective. That's something that's huge. That is massive to think about. But then at the same time, let's take a peek at the end of DxD Season 4, Indra's Introduced. And he even says, if you say causes problems, hey, we'll take care of them. The most open ending ever, right? I, I, it's truly an open ending. That's truly saying, hey, oh, wait, there's more. And that's something that shows can do, but they never get a season. But DxD has done that a couple times, right? I mean, why, choose, why try so hard if you're not going to get another season? Don't hold on to what I just said, but you know what I mean. Popular show, you make money off it. The memorabilia of DxD definitely sells. I can only imagine what Rias and Akano sell in Japan. I mean, I know they, the posters and stuff, the lewd posters and the fan service kind of memorabilia. I can only imagine. Those are just two characters that they're going to sell money, right? So, I mean, look at Zenobia and all these other characters too as well. So, I mean, a lot of variables. At the end of the day, there are a lot of variables that go into this. It's, yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to sit here and try to give you an a release date estimation. I would imagine it would be in a year and a half. I would say no earlier than next summer to next fall. Not this coming fall, but... Yes, I mean, like, 2019 fall, 2019 summer. That's what I would fully expect. You know, T&K was, at a, like, a year and a half kind of thing. Then they're at a two-year a two thing for, like, season three. So, or, excuse me, two year It's two years from season three to four, right around there. So don't, it's a new studio, though. Too many variables. I could sit here and guess. If we went by T&K, it would be next summer to next fall of 2019. But this isn't T&K. This is not TNK. I mean, and obviously they must not know the release date themselves because they didn't announce the release date at the end of the series. So, I mean, why would they not do that? Unless they want to do it at, the, you know, the Bunko Festival. And that's something that's coming up this fall. And that has been the festival for season one, two, and three that High School DxD has been announced for its next season for anime. So the Fantasia Bunko Festival is something that you really need to pay attention to. It'll be out in August. I reported season four got announced then at that time last year. So be sure to pay attention whenever early fall comes around, like August, early August, or mid-August. I think like around August 21st, the Fantasia Bunko Festival has always been the festival to where anyone... Period. Flat out finds out if there will be another season. If it doesn't get announced this this year, does not mean there will be another season, right? So um, if they don't give you a release date, expect them to at least give you an anime announcement, if not a release date. But Fantasia Muko Festival, October around twentieth, mid October. That's been once again. I'm gonna reiterate this one more damn time. Every season, season one, two, and three have all been announced there and nowhere else first. October, mid-October, stay tuned. That's when you guys will find out what's going on, whether it's this year or next year. I'm sure that I would not doubt, if they're going to make another season, I would imagine they hint at something this year. Maybe save an announcement for next year. Maybe they kind of announce, say, hey, anime project coming, and then announce it later on within the year. But anything that has to do with High School DxD, I am 99% sure it will be announced there. Because I, I, it always has been. It's that simple. Flat out. Straight up. So, as always, guys, if you guys do enjoy my High School DxD content, you want to help me keep making more, check out my Patreon down in the description below. I will see you guys next time. As always, peace.